Sea Wasp is uh, designed as a underwater EOD inspection robot for uh, detecting and potentially removing or neutralizing underwater explosives. As part of the dive team for the bomb squad in Maryland, we have a regional capability for underwater bomb response, and we have wanted to get ROV capability, which we do not have right now. If we can use a ROV instead of putting a diver in the water in a potential explosive environment, which is really unforgiving underwater, um, it would be much better. With the ROV, I think the sonar is going to be great. Get us on location, find what we need to find, interpret the sonar picture and maybe rule out something right away. It's not a danger. One of the things we, we brought it on is this MMI, this man-machine interface, so that we're able to give the operator the ability to control it in what is quite difficult circumstances. To that end, the vehicle can hover in any attitude whilst the operator is then able to deal with the target. It's quite a, a clever vehicle. It's able to fly much as an aeroplane would fly and pretty much do underwater aerobatics. Uh, that means that when you're trying to look for um, IEDs, bombs on the bottoms of ships or in harbor, you're able to fly the vehicle around and it's very, very maneuverable. The way that these uh, requirements are brought to us. They're from the end user community, uh, meaning the public safety bomb technician community, uh, the U.S. Navy, and the Federal Bureau of Investigation were the three primary drivers of, of this specific requirement. Uh, we operate vehicles in what we call six degrees of freedom, which is different than your conventional ROVs, which have typically been used for these types of tasks. With a six degree of freedom vehicle, we have a lot more capability to get in close and work in very close quarters with uh, underwater IEDs.